I just picked up this item today from Lowe's. It's a walk behind gas blower by Billy Goat. And I'd had my eyes on this for a while, the last few weeks. They had uh, three of them. One that was on display, it ended up getting sold. They brought out another one. And uh, I went today and got the one that uh, was in the box. I always like buying stuff like this that has not been handled. That's, uh, you know, just fresh from the factory. So this is the card they had on it at the store. And it says it's got a 30-day return policy. That's, that's real nice, especially on something that's gas-powered. And that was $749 plus tax. It is the Billy Goat F602X blower. Item number 2504814, model number F602X. So I thought while I did this review and showed it, I would uh, open it up as it came in the box so you could see how it was uh, packaged. So here you see it guys from the same position. I just opened up the flaps of the box. Uh, it is rather windy today so hopefully the audio won't be too bad but I live out in the country and it does get windy. got this packing material. Here you see the air cleaner, the muffler. This is the front of the uh, blower intake. This looks like the directions, information. pieces of styrofoam, well actually got multi pieces of styrofoam in here. Packed very well. And they've got stuff here on the side of the box. And they've got padding here around the actual handle here that they have in here, stuck in here. So packaged very well. You can see. Okay. Nice job. So I'm going to cut one side of the box to get this out easier. I got to tell you guys, they did a really good job of packaging this. This is the front side that you saw with the Billy Goat logo. And this piece, I took this side, cut it down, and as you can see, they have nice heavy corners. Plus, they also have this in another piece of cardboard, like a cardboard around that. Really nice job of packaging. So now we're looking from the side that I cut. You can see they actually have stuff down in here too. That styrofoam packing. Okay, so I've removed the handle from the box. You can see they have a bunch of packing down here. And there's the front wheel that is detached that would go on the front here. Okay guys, I've taken it out of the box, and this is what you get loose. You'll get uh, to the far left is the handle, then in the center is the machine, to the right of the machine is the front wheel, which all you've got to do is move the axle, put it on the front, and uh, then in the instruction manual that you see in the very front in the, in the, uh, of the video here, they have the instructions and they have the two black knobs that uh, would attach the handle. Very simple. Now one thing I did not see is oil and I asked the guy at 
Lowell's, does it come with oil? He said, yes. So I'm going to check the machine if it ships with oil, because no oil came with it, because I wanted to make sure I had oil prior to leaving, you know, getting it somewhere, the, the proper grade. Now underneath here, you can see the coil. They have it coiled up. This is what's going to pull your chute. And they have it... Uh, kind of wound up here so I have to undo that I'll get that straightened out and that's what hook that up to the handle that will activate your chute the uh, position of the chute so we're gonna put the handle on first and in that package with the instructions are these knobs just the bolts that would go in here to attach the handle and it's, this is no tools required They've got a insert nut within the plastic knob. And here's the handle end. And as you can see, it's arched out, radius to actually receive over the handle like this. And just put the bolts in. Now this side I've tightened down, and as you can see, this side's loose. So it's got this carriage bolt that's kind of arched on the head end, and um, within a square, so it can't rotate. So you can actually fold this down. If you loosen both these up, like I have this one, and you loosen this one up, you can fold the handle down. And then just by tightening it up like this now both sides are rigid now you can use this next we've got to take the wrapping off that uh, is on the handle and it comes off without having to cut it And that's your control handle for the chute to raise and lower the chute. I still have to hook up that cable that I showed you that they had from down below. Okay, so I've attached my cable. And it's very easy. There's a ball end. On the end of this cable, there's a little ball. And what you're going to do... zoom in there's a ball on the end of this what I did is I moved it's right over in here so what I did is I took the cable put it put the ball in like this then pulled the cable back as I pulled back the handle pulling the cable and then allowing the cable to go into the seat that's on this side. So basically, take the ball in. You'll start the ball here, and as you push in, the ball will capture in, into this. Hold it, put your finger so the ball doesn't pop out. Pull the cable. As you pull back, let the handle go back, and then you'll just let the furl here at the end of the cable go right inside the slot. No tools required. Very, very simple. Now here's how I elected to run the cable. I have not even looked at the directions yet. Something this simple. But what I did is we'll start down here. You'll see where the cable starts down here. And you can see there's an adjustment on it. If you need to adjust it. The nuts there on both sides to adjust it. There's the cable that goes to the chute. And the cable comes up out, as you see, to the right side of this video. It's going to come out right there on the front, right here. So I elected to bring it back. So it comes out from underneath. It comes back. And I brought it inside the unit here like this. So that it wouldn't be sticking out by the tire. Brought it out on this, on the inside between the two handles. And then just brought it up. 
Now it's on the inside of this handle, as you see here, and then just into the proper placement. Another view of that cable comes from underneath. It comes up. I elected to put it behind the handle here, between the two, and it comes up. And on the back side of this handle, and then into the attachment point. Next, I'm going to put this front wheel on. While we're looking at the wheel, before I put it on, this is, I like this. This is really heavy. This is, uh, it's got bearings, and you can grease it. There's a greaser there. Uh, but it's one of these, it says it's 8 0.25 by 2.75 and it's one of those that are non-flat it's just a hard uh, it's a hard tire it's not something you've got to inflate it's got kind of a rubbery feel now versus the back tire which is pneumatic the pneumatic wheels also have grease circs on the insides of them, the insides facing, they both are researched. I'm going to go ahead and put the front wheel on. You are going to need 14 millimeter uh, tools, whether it's a 14 millimeter open den combination, box, whatever, socket. So let me loosen this. And it's got a sleeve in here, which is nice, because these two pieces, when you tighten down, they're going to tighten on that sleeve, so you can't over-tighten it and bend anything. So I'm going to put the Zerk on the side of the chute. So let me stick that in here. That should right there. So let's see how nice this uh, rolls now. And here we have it assembled. Take a close look at that handle. See how it arches up? It's got a really nice rubber grip on it. It's a nice feel. Now, if I do have a complaint, now, this tag that's on the pull rope to start it says, notice, check oil level before starting. So that makes you assume that there's oil in the engine. But then on the other side, it says, notice, engine may be shipped without oil. Check oil level before starting engine. So we're going to check it here and see if it came with oil. I just wish it would say it came with oil and just be done with it. Okay guys, it did not come with oil, so I had regular 5W30, uh, so that's what I used. Uh, again, it doesn't come with oil, 
and so the guy at Lowe said it did, but it didn't. So anyways, uh, they do show a synthetic 5W30, which is what I will put in it. Uh, I'll let it run a little bit with this, and then I'll drain it and put the 5W30 synthetic in. So here's the gas cap. I'm going to put some gas in it. Now it does say no E85, which I don't use that anyways. And it is tethered. It looks to be like a really nice, nice unit so far from what I can see. So let me go ahead and fill this bad boy up with some gas. All right, before I fire this thing up, I want to show you some of the controls on the back here for the engine. And what came with this unit is a Briggs & Stratton XR Professional 208cc 6.5 gross horsepower at 3600 RPMs. And it says per SAE J1940. So here's your on-off switch. On is the line. Off is the circle. Here you have your throttle. This is slow, so you can vary the speed that you want. If you go all the way to the left, as you see here, that's fast. All the way to the right is slow. Then we have our choke. Here it's off. If we take the choke all the way to the left, the choke is on and it's, it's labeled here very nicely off I'll leave it on when I go to start this and here I like that it has a fuel shut off anytime there's a small engine I always put my own shut offs if they don't come with it but so the fuel is on right now there it would be off and I always would let it run until it runs out of the bowl here so we'll turn it back on and we'll get ready to fire this thing up. I've got that on slow idle. Is, guys I had it on choke I probably should have put the uh, I forgot to put the uh, RPMs up a little higher but I uh, had it on choke fired it up for the very first time fired up really nice in fact it was one pull as you could see all right that started up really nice and uh, right out of the box the first pull something else I want to show you about this uh, shoot directional lever. See those holes in there? This is a spring-loaded uh, thing there, like a spring-loaded stud. So you can take and hold it so you don't have to hold this all the time and just pull it out and then just go to the next one and it locks it in. So you can actually without having to hold that all the time. Now the only thing, as nice as this thing's built, this does have plastic. Now I don't know what type it is, I'm sure it'll hold up, but this handle is plastic This this that you pull on. And that may just be fine, but I just want to mention that. But again, this is nice that you can lock that in, just pull that out.
that way you don't have to hold this in all the time. Okay, now down at the chute, should you require it, and there's not enough position in the ones that uh, are dedicated in the handle to lock in, you can manually lock it down here. It comes with this knob. This knob is threaded on a bolt that's in here, and there's a nylock nut inside this right here. So that prevents this from backing off and maybe vibrating loose and coming off. Okay. Uh, now, when I use this up there, I always want to make sure that I have a little bit of tension and it'll still work. But uh, what you can do then is if you need a specified angle on this chute, find what it is and then just lock that down like that and it stays. And all you've got to do is loosen that up. And now you're back to where you can use the handle control. And we'll take a look over here to see the nice arrangement that they have. Get it right there. This is attached to the chute. Down here is your cable that goes to the handle and a nice heavy spring up here to pull it up. I do see on this sticker that's on the fuel tank of the engine, it says uh, date of manufacture, September 2019. Again guys, it's very windy out today. Can't do much about the wind, hopefully you can hear me. But this thing is really constructed very nice, very pleased with it so far. You can see it's even got a nice guard around the muffler, really nice. You don't really see that very often, if at all. I don't think I've seen it in any of my stuff. I just want to go over a couple things here. I did call and spoke to a Joe at Billy Goat and I asked him what they meant by one year limited warranty and uh, he said that's basically intentional misuse. You know, you drop it out of the back of a pickup or something like that and he said that uh, belts and cables are not included in the warranty but obviously this unit only has the cable for the shoe. So I just wanted to clarify that with them. But um, so basically, if you're not abusing it and beating the hell out of it, uh, it's got a one-year warranty. Well, I do have to say you get lots of documentation. You've already seen this about the oil. They give you a Billy Goat sticker, and uh, you do have to register your product, either online or by mail. I'll just do mine online. You get really nice laminated um, nice lamp. Well, we'll look at this since it's blown around here. You get a loose parts list again for the uh, F602X it tells you what should come with it. The wheel, the upper assembly. Nothing on the back side. They've really done a good job that I see here. And this is nice. These two are like plasticized. Not, well, this one's laminated, this piece. And this is kind of like plasticized. It's really nice. Information on the blower. And they give you some good stuff here. Accessories you can get. I might get this forward discharge now. So they've got that. They've got this 10-foot hose kit. That looks interesting. I might look into that. And according to them, that they're saying that this is the lightest weight in its class. High flotation tires, inline frame design. So, pretty nice. But 
I give you information here about the different engine sizes. And of course, you get the owner's manual. Okay, so you get the owner's manual, operator's manual for the uh, Briggs and Stratton engine, and of course, general safety and warranty information. So this is pretty thick. Now it's in different languages too. So that. And then you have a list of dealers, it looks like here. Oh, here we go. Here's, well, those are European distributors. And then you have, tells you about the registration. So... Warranty repairs will not be considered without the date unit was purchased and the correct model serial number. Okay, so like I said, I'm pretty impressed with this unit. Also, at the time when I was looking into this, I didn't see the F602. I saw a 601, and he said that the 2 replaced the 1. And he also said that they make a Vanguard engine... Uh, that has a V instead of the X. I guess that's a heavier duty engine. But uh, I'm just a homeowner. This isn't going to be used in a commercial fashion at all. But uh, he did mention that. And this is approved by the moose.